has always uh, been a part of my life. Um, I uh, chose a career in medicine uh, because my parents were physicians and I always wanted to do something with my life uh, where I could help people. Following in her parents' footsteps, Callista Phillips completed her doctorate in laboratory medicine at a leading cancer hospital in Bombay, India. When she arrived in Canada in 1998, she had five years experience working as a physician. So Callista was dismayed to learn that she wouldn't be allowed to practice medicine without going through a very lengthy and costly licensing procedure. I did know that I'd have to go through some, some exams because every country has uh, a way of assessing uh, me medical people, especially since you're dealing with health and people's lives. But I didn't expect it to be such a long process and such an expensive process. Discouraged, Callista thought she'd have to give up practicing medicine. She approached Skills for Change for employment assistance and found out about the agency's programs for foreign trained accountants, engineers, teachers and healthcare professionals. Skills for Change actually lit literally changed my life. I came here looking for a job like em employment uh, resource, uh, uh, resources, but uh, when I joined the healthcare group, I found a lot of physicians in the same situation that I was in and we encouraged each other and that led me to rethink uh, my life. Callista had worked hard to become a doctor and she knew she'd be valuable to Canada if they would accept her. So with determination she began the lengthy process of requalification. I remember those um, during the program so she set her career goal as a physician in Ontario and she put a very detailed action plan how she was going to do it and in those two years she really stick to Japan. In May 2001 Callista was one of the 36 out of 300 candidates selected for the Ontario International Medical Graduates Program. Callista's husband Trevor who has a business degree put his plans for requalification on hold while working in a store to support them. Her parents came from India to help with her son, David, while Callista completed her pre-residency at Queen's. There are times when I felt like giving up, especially when the financial hardship has become really, like we're living on the edge. But what motivated me was my family, who was very supportive, my husband, who kept encouraging me, and uh, the idea that I had come to Canada to make a better life for myself. And the only way I could do it, and for my family, and for my son especially, the only way I could do it was to, to get back and practice what I'm good at. Callista has now completed her pre-residency program and has applied for residency in Toronto. She's committed to helping other foreign trained physicians get into the system by providing them with information and sharing her own experience. She's actively involved in APSU, the Association of International Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario and was part of a committee that made recommendations to fast-track physicians to the system. Someone like Callista is a really important success story and an important role model for others who are going through the same process that she is because not only has she struggled to make her way through the system and demonstrate her skills and, and be able to bring her talents and done that on an individual basis, but she's gotten involved in the organization and made a contribution that will help to make that possible for others in the same situation. My hope is uh, to practice medicine uh, once again, which I'm on my way to doing in, in this community, in a multicultural setting, and to help uh, give back to the community what they gave back to me, what I got from them. To, uh, I'd, pref I'd like to settle maybe in a smaller town and uh, be, a, be a family doctor. Because her persistence and hard working and believe in herself, I think this is uh, uh, set a good uh, example for all the foreign trained professionals, especially in healthcare field.